All right. Let's see what we got here today. This is where I really wish I had a, a top-down camera. But let's see what's in the box. PGY Tech? Huh? What's up guys, and today, well, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of something that I got. My name is Paul, and if you're new here, I do a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. I do that through gear reviews, vlogs, and tutorials, and today is what a lot of my stuff is about, gear reviews, because I'm a total gearhead. The quick backstory on this is I was looking for a new camera bag because at camera camp I broke a few zippers. I barely made it back home without my zippers like just busting open and I've been using this crappy bag for a while. And I was like on Black Friday I'm gonna get me a new camera bag. Well, I found the Low Pro 450 Tactic. I bought it on sale on Amazon, it was in talks with PGY Tech about their closed Kickstarter. I just found that bag as I was doing a bunch of researching and I was like, man, this would be a sick bag. Well, they kindly let me purchase the bag uh, for the Kickstarter price, even though it was already closed. So I sent them the money, they sent me a receipt, and I did not expect to get it today, but man, I already got it and I'm stoked because my other camera bag is trash, other than the fact that it's green on the inside. But guess what? This one's also green on the inside. And you know, I would really highly appreciate it if you guys could subscribe, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, I'm really trying to grow my channel this year in 2020, and I would love to be able to start. I've gotten my affiliate links closed down a number of times for Amazon because I don't have 500 subscribers yet. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought you could just get it. And if you sold, I mean, I sold like $800 worth of inventory for Amazon in like 10 days. I figured they would just like bypass that rule if they really had it, but they didn't. That was really unfortunate. Please subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. This would help support this channel. And let's get into this unboxing, shall we? So, all right. We're going to do an unboxing. I know it's not going to be super exciting because there's no top-down shot but <clears throat> so I did buy this bag with my own money I got a better deal on it because I got the Kickstarter price instead of the current price that you'll see now on B&H for pre-order but um, they might be working with me in the future after talking with me who knows we'll see I did build a little bit of a relationship there and they said they added me to the list for future products whatever that's supposed to do they typically do uh, drone stuff, but they decided to make their first camera bag. And, you know, I've been watching a lot on camera bags, and it's definitely not an easy process to make a camera. There's so much into making a camera bag that we don't even think about. And this thing looks awesome. So, open the bag here, and it's like... It's nice, very nice. I mean, it doesn't smell like anything really. I mean, this bag is like got like red suede at the top, kind of like matching the look of the bag. I mean, usually most companies don't even spend a lot of time and money on the prep that they ship it in. They just throw it in a box and you open it up, or it's in a plastic bag. They put like some real work into this box. Very nice job, PGY Tech. Wow, very nice, huh? I mean, look at this. I'm gonna try and get a close-up here, because this is the tam Tamron, but look at that, like, red, like, sewn material in a bag. I've never seen this before. Very interesting. I almost don't want to rip it, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to.
I always gotta smell. I wonder, you wonder if there's any new smells. Gary from Everyday Dad, stop posting them. Making my loud enough. Oh man. And then you have, this is what you typically would see if you pull it out of a box. This is what I would, would expect. Another bag with like the logo on it. Can't really see it, but. And then, <sighs> my wife had to call me like right when I was doing the reveal. Oh, she trying to call again, let's see. Hey babe, what's going on? Yeah, I'll go do that really quickly. Why are you talking like that? I gotta go measure some things for my wife real quick. I will be right back. Ooh, all right, man. Honey to-do list. All right, now where were we? Oh, yes. This bag is just, oh, it feels so nice. And one of the things I really liked about this bag is one, its size and what it holds. I mean, there's like, Camera access, camera access, like camera access. I mean, this thing's got like three different spots to access cameras. It has like a little bag inside of this to hold like drone or turns into like a little cool fanny pack like back in the 80s, yeah. And it feels just like premium, I mean. Yeah, new polyester smell, yeah. I mean, this is a, a fairly affordable bag, I mean. Price right up there with the low pros, and I mean, it's got these like waterproof like zippers. I mean, I don't know. It's like when you these zippers like they're like the material covers them. It's hard. I don't know if you can see that, but like water resistant. Sorry, because it also has like this like lip right here with like a little covering thing to cover your you know waterproof action. This isn't really a full-on review, I just want to do a quick unboxing. But I love this thing, like, oh, so one of the reasons why I got it, because look, it stands perfectly straight. They have a lifetime warranty on this bag. You have any problems at all, it, it breaks, whatever, just contact them and they'll give you a brand new one. Lifetime warranty. Oh, what's in this bad boy? I am pretty confident in their customer support just by like the few communications I've had with them and how nice they were to let me like do the Kickstarter price for this. They could have just been like, sorry, we, we're not accepting anymore. Wait till it comes out with the, with the regular price for like more. Nice little book. Ah, oh, like this is, like this is so nice. Has like a, just, it folds up sweet. There's like a, a luggage arm thing like right here so you can slap this bad boy down on your luggage arm. Oh, oh man. Whew, that smells really good on the inside. Oh yeah, it's like, I don't know, I love new smell. New item smell is so good. Oh, that's right, this like opens up so it, it extends into like, 35 liter bag or something like that if you need extra space oh, man this is gonna be a sweet travel bag this is where the we bill s will go um, all right so let's see what's in this bag oh, man and I'm wrong there's nothing in this there's no foam or anything holding this bag this bag is just that sturdy and it'll be. Everyday Dad loves these things. Woo! You gotta have your sticker wear. Yeah. Logos. Woo! Oh, okay. This is golden right here. This is probably the most beautiful interior. I've ever seen because it's green. Oh my gosh, it's green. Oh, that like hunter sexy green. Oh, it's so awesome. And then you 
like can like open this little side axis and pull out this little cute like bag and it is also just the cutest little thing ever it it also expands I mean look at this thing I heard this is like one of those bags where you're gonna be like getting it and you're gonna be finding like all these new compartments even after you buy it oh like the, 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 look at this thing just pure sexiness this is where I'm gonna store my drone and when I go to Disney it'll probably be like a spot for me to put my camera so I can like you know shoot some stuff and not feel like I gotta carry around a ginormous backpack with me because it is pretty difficult to bring about around a, a, a bag like, like like this at Disney oh this is the other thing that's super excited me never seen this before I thought this was brilliant this has got like battery storage spots so you got one two three spots for your batteries and then it's got even these like little color coordinated things so when the batteries are all drained you can just pop it over and now they're red or oh this one's good I know this one's so it's green oh this one's good this one's green this one's they're all green because green's the best color in the world and this interior of the bag is green oh. Like, this, this bag, I feel like it was almost made for me. They said, we're gonna make this for Paul because he loves the color green. I heard that the original color on the inside was supposed to be like a, a gray color, and they changed it to green because they heard that I was buying the bag. Anyway, this bag is gonna be reviewed deep in deeper context. I'll probably kind of review it a little bit in my 2020 What's in My Camera Bag review, since I actually got a really cool camera bag now. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited about this. Like I said, I think it's gonna beat the Peter McKinnon one in my eyes. Like, this is just personal opinion. Like, first of all, I would never spend like $400 or $500 on a camera bag. That's just insane. And I know that probably a lot of that is just going because it's, you know, you're putting the name on it, which, you know, hey, that guy, that, oh, he sold a lot of bags. $300 isn't too bad for a, for a bag, but I wouldn't pay any more than $300 for a bag. This is the cool thing about this bag is I paid $160 for the Kickstarter thing and I got the bag itself and the little like compartment tote and I believe this package now is gonna cost I want to say $200 maybe but I will put all the links down in the description below where you can pre-order it uh, from b and site or straight from uh, PGY Tech. I mean this bag feels real solid like I said I thought they were like packing it with foam or whatever but no it's just it's just built well it's got a lot of nice dividers it looks like I'm really excited about that little bag and there's it comes in this black which I mean I, I just like regular black bags with that nice like red accents a little bit there but it also like a cool camo like I almost bought that but my wife's like eh. I'm like I'm like that's cool I probably would have bought the black anyway the camo look is a little more expensive just because you're getting that camo but it's a really nice, I mean, they they did a really good job with this bag, I think. Really nice design, and I like, this is, I love this. It sits straight up, now. I'm, I've heard that people uh, have packed these and it still stays straight up like this. Like, a, my bag like just goes and it falls over. And like, it just, it feels sturdy. I feel like my Sony's like in, in safe shape in this thing. Like I did not feel that way about my other bag. I didn't have side access points. Anyways, this has just been completely awesome. Well worth my purchase, well worth my money. I just starting to ramble, so you'll see more videos of this bag in the future because awesomeness. There's a lot of stuff I'm planning on doing. I gotta review some headphones that I got. I mean, just so much, so much stuff. I hope you guys are having a really great holiday season and uh, all that fun jazz. This thing is, this has been another wonderful video. Do all the fun YouTube-y stuff. And I will see you in the future. Oh.